this week because I've been uh, graced with the opportunity to go back out and do another overnighter. I was actually blessed for uh, two nights, but uh, not to give too much away. I've been away from my family for, well, with a couple of visitations, roughly almost a year. Um, and honestly, last night, I just didn't want to go. I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave my family behind to come out here and be selfish for a while. So, and I almost got to the point where I didn't want to go today for the same reason. But, uh, you know, my wife suggested that my mental health is also very important. So I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to enjoy some woods time. I've been kind of hunting around today a lot to find a nice spot and it's actually pretty late. I probably should have gotten settled in a little bit earlier, but I also spent some time lollygagging around out here as well. little root ball or if it's a cavern or what over there I think it's just a fallen tree or something so let's continue down here see what we've got to work with Probably wouldn't want to be down here when it's dead of winter because it'd probably be pretty cold. Looks like somebody's got another little camp down here already. So. Ridiculously far from my vehicle. Not gonna lie to you and tell you I'm 10 miles out this time because I'm, I'm not doing that tonight. I've got some chow I want to cook. Got a little project that I want to work on. So, hoping that I can give myself time to do those things not have to be rushed at it. Hmm. Sorry if I'm rambling a lot. Wow. This is amazing. Beautiful little area. I see a lot of fallen trees, but ooh, that's a that's a big widow maker behind me. Can you see that guy? Just standing up there, waiting for an opportunity. Luckily, it looks like if it were to fall, it would go that direction. All these trees look pretty healthy around me. So. Looks like a nice little... I can find a nice level spot here somewhere. This terrain's pretty rough though.
Tell you what, I'm just gonna go ahead and camp up here. All right, it looks like this is where it's gonna happen. Right here, it's kind of a, a slightly higher spot so that, you know, it goes down all around this little spot right here so that, you know, it's not likely we should catch some rain tonight, but if we do, uh, it'll drain off and naturally kind of go around me on this little mound right here. So, kind of pretty happy about that. Kind of weird me out now because it almost looks like a little grave. It's a perfect little mound the size of a coffin or something. But anyway, yeah, that's where I'm gonna throw it down right here. And I have a nice little area with some trees here where I can set up a hammock or a sunshade or whatever I feel like doing, maybe for in the morning. And I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and then get back to you because I think this is where I'm staying tonight. I've got, I don't have enough time to really just keep, to keep looking around. And there's an ideal spot down that hill right there. And it's great, but it looks like somebody's already built a, a debris shelter of sorts down there. It's kind of kind of cool to run into something like that. It, that doesn't make me mad at all. A lot of people, when they see that, they get mad, you know, but I would so much rather see somebody's debris shelter that they left down there than a whole bunch of trash. And yeah, which brings me to my next point. Give me one second. Let me see if I can get it out of my pocket. I brought my most important piece of gear with me this time. And is it a knife? No. Is it an axe? No. Is it a gun? No. Water bottle? You know, anything like that? It's not. It's uh, this right here. And uh, this is a garbage bag. And you might say, okay, is this for a, uh, a shelter? Or, you know, it could be rain gear, or it could be, you could fill it up with all this pine straw and make a little mattress or something out of it. No. No, unfortunately, all it's for is carrying out other people's garbage. So, you know, we, we really have to do a better job of that. I have no problem with coming out here and having campfires and enjoying yourself and doing whatever it is, you know, that you enjoy doing in the forests. But we have to do a little bit better job of uh, picking up all this trash. You know, it's not that hard. So, anyway... Let me get a little bit of camp built and I'll get back to you.
right. This is what's about to happen here. So, little propane canister. You know, a little burner. That's a, uh, I don't remember what that is. A uh, Primus. Primus Classic. Some cheese. Get up there, you bastard. All right. Okay. Got a little bit of olive oil. <laughs> it's in the old scope container. I've got, uh, this is pancake mix for in the morning. So disregard that. I've got some uh, pizza dough mix. I've got my German military uh, utensils. Got this little folding spatula. Some seasoning that I just throw in. I don't know if I'll need it or not. And I have a couple of packets of this uh, Starkiss chicken. So that's how this is going to be made. And I have to go get it. But I have some tomato sauce that's in with my uh, my water bottle. So I'll get right back to you. All right. Here we go. You can see I ate a couple of little chunks, but that's all right. It's still going to be good. The dough's not stupid thick like it was last time. And I think this is going to work for us. Well, I want to go ahead and eat. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right. Well, I don't know if anybody on my channel is necessarily interested in this kind of thing, but they might be. So, this device. I've been seeing these on YouTube for quite a while. Always been kind of interested in the idea, but never really made one. And all this is, is jute twine braided, dipped in paraffin wax, shoved into this little, uh, sorry, getting out of frame there, shoved into this little 3 16 cents brass tube, and then it has a little piece of leather from an old work glove glued onto it right here. So if it does get hot, then, um, you know, it protects your fingers. But honestly, I don't foresee any, damn, there's an ant here. Don't foresee any reason, you know, to have it on that long, but who knows? Plus it, I don't know, it just kind of looks cool with the leather on it, I think. But, you know, one cool thing about it is if you have not necessarily uh, one of these lanterns. They're not that hard to light, but just for demonstration purposes. I will light this one up for you. You have this right here, which will take a spark from a ferro rod easily. So if all you had was a ferro rod, you can light this. Let me uh, extend it out a little bit. Keep it going. There we go. So you could light this with your ferro rod, and then you can come in here. And there you go. To put it out, you just draw it back in. And that puts it out basically instantly. And now your candle lantern's going. Not a bad night. Well, just got up. Other than the last time I just got up, you know, when I set that camera over there, set this camera over here, you know how it goes. Okay, all trolling aside, I've been up and moving around. You know, I decided to do the uh, the tent exiting scene, you know, the waking up scene everybody seems to do, even though they've already woken up you know, one time to put the camera out to start with, so why not just show that, but, you know, I guess it looks cool. Um, it's kind of like when you see somebody on camera and they're walking away from the camera and, you know, they have to come back and get the camera, <laughs> you know, or they had to walk up there to put the camera down and then they walk to it, you know. I mean, those scenes look kind of cool. I think I actually have one like that in my intro where I'm walking through snow, but... It looks good, but come on, man.
once in a while. Not all the time. But, yeah, I think this morning I'm going to go ahead and get some coffee on. Maybe make a pancake or two and get a little breakfast going. I wish I knew what I did with that Slim Jim. It seems to have disappeared on me. That would be, I could cook that up as like some sausage or something like that. I ate both of my mini pizzas last night. Those were really good. I just, it, I guess the crust needs maybe a little bit more garlic powder. And I think that would really set it off. Um, tent, as always, held up really well. I uh, ended up having to get up and flip it over because I accidentally, uh, well, I was thinking about routing the lines, the guy lines inside the snaps when I was setting it up. So I had the little pieces of strap or pieces of webbing that come off of the eyelets uh, on the inside. And it just makes a cleaner looking setup. Well, then as I was setting it up, I kind of forgot about that and ran the guy lines outside. So it looked kind of goofy for a little while and it was getting to me. So I had to you know, turn it right side out again. It was, uh, the, uh, internals were external. I mean, it's kind of like a, a pub tent prolapse, I guess. <laughs> so I flipped it around, got everything on the right side. So it's looking a little bit better now. Um, it was windy as hell again last night. It was one of those nights that I was thankful that I went ahead and brought a tent instead of just a tarp shelter. Cause that probably would have been pretty miserable. Um, I have the inflatable pad with me, but I didn't put it down because, you know, this little spot that I'm at, it's not real bad. It's not miserable. Uh, I did bring my little inflatable pillow, though. That makes all the difference in the world if you don't have one. They're worth it. Uh, so after that, we might go ahead and uh, have some coffee, get started on that project that I was talking about yesterday. So, stick around. Nice bedding areas up here. Lots of game trails. There's a beautiful area down there. That may be where I go next time. Whew, high altitude. This little bee here is so loud. There's two of them. I don't know if you could see him or not. There he is. Cool. They didn't look thrilled about my presence, but they didn't bother me any, so hopefully I didn't bother them too much.
Okay, well. I thought there might be a nice view from from the hill. Not that the this area is a not a beautiful view in itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back down and enjoy some coffee. Definitely want to explore this area a lot more. There is all kinds of scat everywhere in here. All right, meet you back down the hill. See the elk? Well, that doesn't make for a bad morning. Enjoy some coffee, lay in the hammock, watch the elk walk around. Just kind of crazy because that's exactly where we were. I'll keep you updated on that. For now, I'm just going to lay in the hammock and drink my coffee.